Now, what would your dog do if confronted by a burglar? Would he or she protect your territory? So my dog, Ollie, might or he might not. Either way, the bad guy's going to have a lot of hair on his dark clothes. Uh, tonight, Denver 7's Jace Larson is putting these dogs to the test. Look at this little dog on the footstool. He saved the day for this Arlington, Texas family spooking a burglar. We wanted to know, what would your dog do? How do the ferocious ones act when an unknown person walks in the door? I think there's going to be a lot of barking. We found four families who let us put their pets to the test. First up, Jill Svensson's two small dogs. It will be interesting because the chihuahua is protective of me. We placed cameras inside her home and I wore a body camera to capture all of the angles. Before I even walked in, the dogs were barking. These guys were loud, loud enough to maybe scare me off, but they didn't do anything to physically run me off. It's okay. It's okay. They didn't quiet down even after I left. They were making sounds the whole time. So I'm glad. I mean, that makes me feel more comfortable. Next up, Michael Madsen's two golden retrievers. So if a bad guy walked in your front door or came in your back door, what would your dogs do? Attack them. Boy, oh boy, is that wrong. These pups were so playful that they even took off with one of our cameras. When I first walked in, the dogs barked, but within seconds, I could have had my choice of whatever I wanted to steal. It was playtime for these pups. Across town, Corey Lyon had no misconceptions about how his friendly dog would react. Potentially take the intruder on a tour of the house. His half dachshund, half golden retriever rolled out the red carpet for me and was perfectly happy to get some love. Pretty sure I could get in and uh, take all your valuables and, take my TV. and, and be right out. I believe it. <laughs> I had no idea what would happen at our last house. He is very protective of me. Zeus's owner, Todd Miller, warned me that I might need to be careful. I decided to have a professional handle this test. Clover Street trains dogs, including protection canines. He wore his dog bite suit to protect himself and also make sure that Zeus didn't get hurt. But he didn't really need that suit. Zeus and his buddy Solomon barked, but also wagged their tails. You have to think, though, would a burglar really risk it with this guy in the house? Do you take some comfort in, in knowing that you have dogs that might deter somebody? Oh, absolutely. Actual protection dogs receive years of continued training, just like police dogs. They can cost several thousands of dollars. Clover says your best bet might just be any vocal dog. If you're looking for a watchdog, right, I probably would go for a beagle. Those dogs are great watchdogs. Right, they'll bark at anything. But don't expect them to physically defend your house. So of the four houses that we went to, not a single dog in any of them came after us physically. But a couple of months ago, I interviewed a serial burglar. He told me he's broken into as many as 25 different places. He said that for him, dogs were a deterrent even if they didn't look physically aggressive because he said he didn't know what they would do when he got inside. Jace Larson, Denver 7. Yeah, you never know, especially those little ones. Exactly. They can never be trust scary. The little ones. There you go. One thing I think, though, that dogs can pick up on, like, a bad guy vibe, which obviously That's Jace didn't true. have. Yeah. He really doesn't. He He's doesn't like have the nicest all. guy I know. Good <laughs> Thanks stuff, for clarifying yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> a mountainside.